Hey guys, I am finally back for 2021. I took a month off for the holidays and for it being uh, spending the month back at home, not in my military residence. So that was really nice to uh, be around someone other than just me for the entire year. So I am back here for 2021 and I will uh, be catching up with my films as much as I can. So I could just skip it, but I'm very much a completionist. So I'm going to film all of my past two videos and maybe you'll find out what I read in January and March. So eventually we've got to get, up, get caught up at some point. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> so I had my mail stopped for the month of December while I was away and quarantining at my actual residence in Ohio. So now that I am back in Kansas, I uh, picked up at the post office all of my mail, which was a lot. So I opened like all of the letters and cards and things like that, which were really sweet. Um, but I have some packages and things like that. And I don't think they're bookish, one of them definitely is. And then to make it a little more bookish, since this is generally a bookish channel, I did bring all of the books that Michael and I got for the holidays. So let's show it to you. Let's see here. Uh, yes, this video is brought in part to you by a Slytherin wearing her Ravenclaw's turtleneck to look like a theater kid. Um, also, guest starring was supposed to be Michael, but he got camera shy and took Caroline for a walk. So instead we have our brand new plant. It is a basil plant that Michael requested. I named him Mr. Basil. Michael said, since I didn't want him, I have no right to name him, but his name is Mr. Basil. Let's do the books first, just to get them over with. This one is Michael's book. It's called The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Follow them and people will follow you. I'm including Michael's books because I like to read as many things as I can on the bookshelf and I like self-help books, so ideally I'll read that one day. Oh, that's by John C. Maxwell. This one is Black Book by Matteo Ascaripor, and this is an arc that I got that I've already read back in October or November, and I gave this to Michael to read. <laughs> so... He, this is a fiction book, uh, a fictional book that is somewhat, I think, inspired by Wolf of Wall Street or similar to Wolf of Wall Street. And although I hated that movie other than Margot Robbie, Michael really enjoyed it. So I thought he may consider reading this book. I like the spine a lot too. So he actually made it this far into it and he was going on about how much he liked the book. And I was very surprised because I can't get Michael to read anything fiction. And once he got to about this halfway point, <laughs> while we were still in Ohio, he asked me, he said, I don't understand, Ash. I can't find anything on someone, which is the company in the book. And I said, what do you mean? And he tells me, I'm Googling someone and I can't find it. I can't find the CEO, Rhett. I don't understand, like, how did they commit so many crimes or so much fraud and it's not on Google? And it was at that point that I realized that my dear, wonderful husband, who has a lot more common sense than me, read this half of this entire book and thought that it was a nonfiction. So... <laughs> Now he doesn't want to finish it. <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> Next up, I got The Fiery Cross by Diana Gabaldon. This is part of the Outlander series. I am borrowing it from my mom. And it is, oh God, book four, book five. It's quite hefty. I'm still working on the second one and I'm not ready to talk about it in this video. So I won't be getting the, to this for some time. Um, next up, this is a book that I also got from my mom to keep. This one is called Girl Stop Apologizing, which I think is book two to Girl Wash Your Face, which she got me two Christmases ago, and I still need to read that because I was supposed to in December. But I'm excited about that. And she also got me The Awakening by Nora Roberts, The Dragonheart Legacy. I have no idea what this is about, but she said that the dragons made her think of me, which felt very Targaryen, and mom, I appreciate it. Finally, I got the complete instant pot. 
cookbook for beginners because I got an instant pot um, over Black Friday. So I am super excited to try this because I don't really know what to do with the instant pot. I am definitely more of a slow cooker gal. So if you have an instant pot and you have a favorite recipe too, I would love to hear it. Send the link my way. That's it for books. I got this at the post office before I opened the packages. It's these super cool moon landing anniversary stamps. All right, I'm gonna open these. I have five packages. This one, this first one is from Erin A. Craig, who is the author of House of Salt and Sorrows, one of my all-time favorite books, and soon to be Small Favors, which comes out, I wanna say, July 27th of next, oh, this year. So I pre-ordered it already for a signed copy, and because I did it on Small Business Saturday, I think, I got this book, mark which i did already peek and see it so that's why my excitement is not all over my face as much as it was but she handmade this so it says small favors and you have there we go you can see the bees here with the honey and then she added the silk bookmark and they were different colors and mine is deep green which is one of my favorite colors to wear and it says ashley enter not the forest deep aaron a craig Ed. i love this so much I can't wait to use this as a bookmark and I can't wait to use it in small favors when I read it this summer. So I'm very hyped for that. Let's see, I know what one of these boxes is, but I don't know which box. So I actually really don't know what's in any of these. They could be bookish or they could be just Christmassy. Hopefully it's all PG related, PG-13. One thing that I ordered, this is a mug, so I, this is probably the mug that I ordered. Let's see. Yes. Okay, this is a custom mug that I got. This is a splurge item for Christmas. It says, you, me, and the dog. And then it has Michael, me, and Caroline. <laughs> And we actually decided that we are going to adopt a second dog, so I will have to order another one next month. <laughs> this is so cute, guys. I love this. And I love, oh my goodness, even the ponytail is in my favorite color. This is so, I love this. I wouldn't wear a jean jacket, but it's okay. I like it a lot. I'm gonna rate that five stars on Etsy. Okay. What do we open next? I have another little box addressed to me from Miami Beach, Florida. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's also a mug. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, I'm assuming this is from Amber. Unsure. Oh, wow. That is so cute. I, I made that slither in comment. I genuinely <laughs> had no idea. Okay, that is so cute. Oh my goodness. There's, there's nothing on the package that says who it's from. So I'm going to assume this is from Amber. So Amber, if you're watching, thank you. Or if you're my friend and you're watching this and you sent me a slithered mug, then please, please identify yourself. <laughs> okay, all right, this one, this one says, Happy Holidays, Ashley. This is from Anna in Atlanta, Georgia. I am, oh wow, there, there was totally, a, oh, there was totally a tab that I could have used to make my life easier. Okay, let's see what this is. Happy mail. That's cute. Okay, still no identification. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, what is this? Oh, 
Okay, but this would be from Amber, because it says bloom where you are planted, and it's Lily from Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is my favorite Animal Crossing character. I don't think anyone else would know that. Something special is waiting for you for Ashley. And then it comes with this cute, uh, like, a little sticker or a bookmark. I'm not sure. And then... <laughs> Okay, so it's from Anna Din, B. Bao Bun Digital Illustrator. I'm assuming this is from Amber, so now I'm not sure, like, did Amber send me two things? Because now I also have this package. Okay, I'm really confused. Let's see. I'm just scared, like, what if there's something fragile in there and I rip it? A gift for you, enjoy, from Amber. <laughs> Amber, did you give me three presents? Oh my gosh. What is this? Posh pencils. Wait, is this what I think it is? Oh my god, okay, hold on. I think this is, an Eddie, this might be my first Enneagram merchandise. Enneagram Type 3 pencil set. So for anyone who knows me and talks to me on a regular basis, you know I'm an Enneagram Type 3. Even if you only watch my videos sometimes and you know the Enneagram, you probably know that about me because I'm obsessed with goals. <laughs> this one says, hold on, how do I do this? Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> Wait, where is it? <laughs> this one says, coffee is my love language. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> Gold digger. Winning is my sport. I make money moves and Enneagram, oh my god, <laughs> how do you do it? Uh, Enneagram type three, the achiever, oh, come on, you can do it. Yeah, there we go. Enneagram type three, the achiever. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Oh, I don't know what to do. I know Ashton sent me something, so I don't know if she sent me the Slytherin mug I'm gonna have to figure this out. These are so cute, you guys. Oh my goodness. I ordered some bullet journal stuff, so these pencils will be amazing to uh, rough draft my uh, Among Us Readathon TBR bullet journal spread, Bujo spread. I don't know how you say that verbally. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, we can hold the pencils. Okay. Oh my gosh, but where? I cannot get over this. This is, I know you guys have already seen it twice, but it's literally the cutest thing. I need to get this framed and then put it next to Mr. Basil. I literally foreshadowed my presence with my, <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my God. I need to get him like a little pink potted planter. Oh, Mike will be so mad, but it's totally fine. It's going to be beautiful. I'll steal Mr. Basil. He can go in my office. Okay, this was really fun. Um, I'm going to see if I can shut this off and film a quick video. Talking about what my reading progress is for right now to catch you guys up just really quickly. And yeah, but that's going to be it for this video. And hopefully I get my November wrap up soon because I have one book left and I would like to throw it out a window. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful week and it's great to see you all again.